Hello YouTube and welcome to Anterix on Gaming. Today I'm taking a look at Ever Planet, a Korean MMORPG that is also currently available in Japan and in Thailand and will one day make it to America. I'm not sure when yet, but it's a relatively old game actually. It's from 2009. Uh, that's when it came out in Korea, but I decided to take a look at this because one, it's actually relatively fun and two is that it does have some unusual yet uh, unique features that I actually wanted to take a look at and show you as well. Hopefully it does make it make its way to America. Uh, so before we start, this is the character creation screen and there's actually, as I'll show you in a second, there's actually quite a lot of characters to choose from. So you have three variations here um, and each of these variations create more types of um, classes. So there's uh, different kinds of knights you can choose. So there's these dudes right here. There is also uh, types, different types of priests and wizards and and so on and so forth. I actually don't really know how many this is in total, but there's quite a lot of variety of different characters and classes you can choose. I've already created one. I'm actually going to start with the guy that I've just made a few minutes ago, and this is Mr. Antirexon. He is a level one knight looking dude. Let's start this. So obviously you get a, a thingy for logging in and that's cool. I do like those prizes, but anyway, so let's actually start playing this. Uh, I've actually read about this game before I started, and it's been compared to quite a lot of various games, including Maple Story and um, I guess Maple Story One, and uh, a few other things like Zelda. So um, battles work th this way: these are active battles. Basically, you uh, walk around killing monsters using your active skills. But look at the world. Look at how beautiful, how awesome, and how amazingly looking it is even though it's actually um it's not particularly high resolution or uh, ultra realistic but it's actually this really suits this game so well this is actually probably a oh, lot thank you this is probably one of the more better looking games i've seen in a really long while especially look at this effect the 3d effect and it's actually called ever planet because in this game you go across various planets and you complete quests um, and each of the planets has a specific level requirement. So I believe I acquired a new skill. So let's actually, this is actually very reminiscent of games like Maple Story, uh, Maple Story 1. Um, and here I can select this. I only can, I can only select one skill. I guess it, I only get this. All right, sure. Uh, this would be my X button, which is, what is it? What's my X? Okay, that's, that's a Sweeney thing. I have uh, three skills right now. I have Z, X, and C. Even though they kind of look the same, but that's because I'm playing as a knight. Uh, now this is still a tutorial area. I'm actually going to try to rush my way through this and possibly even complete this planet. So you get to see how, uh, what happens afterwards when you go to the next planet. Okay. So my map is telling me to go over here and there's a dude. Oh, he's right here. He's literally right here. I didn't even see him. Um, so I get to, I have to talk to him and you can actually jump in this game. It is a 3d game after all. There's a jump and double jump and every, every game that has double jump is already winning in my book of games. It's basically a winner. Uh, so yeah, I don't really speak Korean enough to understand what he's saying, but there is a quest he has for me. And he also gives me, gives me experience, which is good. I like that. Uh, and my next quest is taking me where? It's, it's to see this guy right here. Okay, so that's the map right now. This is the world where I am, the first beginner world. And I believe it's called Ebok Ebokrin, Ebokrin, Ebokrin. I don't know what that means, but cool. Uh, and I also have a new skill. Is that a skill? Is that a skill? It's a skill, isn't it? And it is now. I'm going to bind it to my Q button. Let's see what it does. What is that? It's telling me something. Oh yeah, the monster life. What is Q? What is Q? What does it do? What does it do? It does nothing. I don't actually know what that is, but whatever. It's not important right now. Let's figure it out later as we play. Uh, so, oh, don't attack me, brother. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying this and I kind of really hope they actually um, translate this game into English because I've seen someone play this in English on um, on a Thai server, so they've actually, I think maybe um, a few players or, or someone basically translated this and making sort of like a modification for this game where you can actually uh, play this in English. Uh, and if you have a Nexon account, because this is a Nexon game, you can actually obviously play this as well. It just, the only problem is that you do have to at least read Korean. You don't have to speak Korean, but you have to be able to read Korean so that you know what you're clicking on. Uh, where? Oh, it says this way. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hitting it. I thought, I thought maybe I was uh, some sort of a dungeon entrance or something. All right. Um, moving on. So I have to go th th here, right? Is this where I'm going? Yeah, the arrows are pointing this way. 
So this is uh, my new area and I have to talk to the guy in glasses and the- Ooh, look at that, there's a fox sculpture right there. Okay, uh, let's talk to this person and see what he says. Okay, so he's teaching me about my uh, inventory and he's actually giving me something. What did he give me? He gave me something. I want it. What is that? What is that? Oh, important music. All right. Uh, I think I have some buffs here as well, so I might as well use up everything. I don't want to use it later. And all right. Uh, yes, sir. I've used that thing that you gave me. Thank you for experience and so on. Moving on. Uh, let's go to... Oh, actually, I have to follow the arrows. But yeah, so far, I'm super ultra impressed with this game. This is actually... This brings back some of the old nostalgic memories of MapleStory, except this game plays, looks, and feels a lot more interesting, a lot better than MapleStory, or um, games like... What, what's that game called that I'm thinking of? Um, this is a Korean game that was really, really popular. And the game I was thinking of is, of course, Ragnarok Online. There's actually a second Ragnarok that's already out, um, but it's not as good as the first one, in my opinion. And this game feels and plays so much better. So, Alright, so this is um, really typical of a Karina RPG Equipment store and uh, um, item store. I don't really need to buy anything right now. I just need to talk to the fat guy again because he has a quest for me. Give me my quest. Sir, give me my quest. He wants something. What do you want? I think he wants, to, he wants me to collect some sort of branch. Is that from these guys? Let's actually kill them and see if that's from them. Oh yeah, it's, that's the branch I have to collect. He needs, he needs me to collect three of those. But while I'm collecting these, let's actually explore this level a little bit. Because uh, this is such a beautiful game. Can I actually jump? Can I jump? No, I can't. Um, such a gorgeous game. I really like this whole... Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? That was awesome. Let's do it again. Give me more. Wow, that was cool. The guy exploded in stars. Nothing wrong with that. Um... This really reminds me of the Super Mario um, 64 game, that, or what was that called? The Mario uh, Mario Universe or something like that. The one with the, with the whole planets and all that. Uh, because it does have this similar kind of a 2D, yet not really 2D, but really 3D um, effect where as you walk across, the horizon kind of follows you. Which is, makes this actually kind of cool. It really makes me uh, want to play this a little bit more. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna kill all of these dudes. I think I've collected enough. Enough grinding, let's go and talk to the person with the mustache. Hopefully he has something else for me. Oh, I got a new skill! And it's some sort of a dashy skill that does some sort of a dashing thing. Uh, okay, I've already done that, so I can remove this. And they're telling me to go to this area right here. Oh, new monsters! These are uh, angry looking blob things. Cool, and this is some sort of a cave. Uh, okay, let's dash them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it stuns them, cool! I love it. I love new skills. Uh, okay, what what are you giving me? I think it's, a, it's some sort of a quest again. I have to defeat these dudes and collect their trophies. Um, and the combat in this game actually feels really awesome. It's very responsive. It's um, It has all the right uh, sound effects, all the right um, dynamics. Uh, it's not too hard, not too easy. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually losing health as well, so it's not actually, this is not an easy game. And it, it's all manual, so there's actually, uh, you know, you have to move around, you have to try to dodge attacks and so on and so forth. And these, some of these monsters do have special attacks, so when you see them trying to launch a special attack at you, you have to try to be able to basically either jump over them or uh, get away from their attack. Okay, I think I finished that quest, I just needed to take one thing from him. So I can return this to the guy with the mustache. Mustachio, sir. Thank you for everything and have a good day. Oh, I have a choice. Uh, give me, give me the glove, the glove of love, the love glove. And also, yeah, thank you. And I have my first item that I just earned: the gloves of love, as I call them. Uh, this is basically your character screen. Very typical of other Korean MMORPGs. If you've, played one, if you've played one of them, you've probably played them all, but th this game is quite unique. I'm, and oh, as you can see, there's a person here, so it's you're not going to be alone if you start playing this. There's actually other people playing this game as well. Uh, okay, I want this, please. And also this. Thank you. Oh, new skill! What's that? What does, it, what does this do? Let's uh, bind this to S. Oh! That's awesome! Some sort of an AoE attack. Um, okay, so what is my next quest? I don't really know where I have to go. 
Oh, look at that. There's a house here or something. What is that? <gasps> cows. They have cows. This game has cows. Uh, I love it. There's a whole city with, look at that, humongous cows that... What? Why does it have a coin? What does it do? Oh, it actually, it's a, it's a vendor of cows. This cow has other cows to sell. That's awesome. There's donkeys and horses. Why am I so tiny in comparison? That makes no sense. I guess I'm a child. My child? But yeah, as you can see, the graphics are very awesome. Very, very well done. Um, I am really impressed with the atmosphere so far. Um, I've said that before and I'll say it again. This game is really, really good. Uh, okay, give me this because I don't really use magic. And who are you, sir? Sir Fox? And basically, these are the other vendors in this game that you can kind of check out if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because I'm actually just going to go grind some items and try to make items that way. Uh, okay, let's check out their farm. The scarecrow. Uh, wheat. And look at, look at this effect. This is so cool. As you approach it, suddenly it comes out of the horizon. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, old books as well that I used to read when I was really, really young. You know, the flip books, the books that you, as you open up, they kind of create a whole new universe. I think there's a term for, for what those books are called, but I totally forgot what they're called. Anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and uh, complete our next quest, which is my arrows are pointing this way. So the quest is somewhere over here. It's to, for levels three to five. Now, this is uh, the entire game is based on these tiny maps within a, a planet. Uh, and all each, each and every map is level based. So as you progress through levels, you'll get to experience new monsters, new, um, uh, new areas and new challenges as well. Now, where am I going now? Okay, I'm not allowed to go here. Am I allowed to go? Oh, okay, I see. Is that? Yes, okay, that's what I thought it was. It's uh, an instance. Actually, that's not an instance at all. It's, it's just um, a binding stone. I totally thought it was an instance. But this, this game does have um, instances and basically dungeons that you can play through with your friends. However, I'm not probably going to make it that far in this video and won't be able to show it to you. But essentially, this is how the game works in a nutshell. So it's very similar to um, both Ragnarok and MapleStory. Um, really kind of fun. Uh, really, really well well made and definitely worth your time actually i'm gonna use my new skill on this guy right here oh it's a stun as well awesome i love it i have a lot of stunts as this character okay so i think that's it in a nutshell so this is ever planet unfortunately i wasn't able to finish the first planet because it's a lot larger than i imagined but this game is definitely definitely worth your time if you can get it to work uh, using an, the Nexon account or any, uh, both uh, the Japanese or the Thai accounts. Um, if you speak any of those languages, you'll probably be able to figure it out. If you don't speak either one of those languages, ask a friend or find a friend who speaks them and who can help you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This has been Antirxon with EverPlanet. Have a good day and game you later. Bye-bye.